Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the comic Quarter. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. I went back to the antique mall and found more books that I think you guys are going to love. These are amazing and I got them all for less than $20. Nothing was ever marked more than $20. So all of these were less than $20, which to some people is more controversial than the C2E2 Acetate variant cover by Black Flag. So stay tuned guys, buckle up. This is gonna be crazy. And I will tell you the last book in here. So stay tuned to the last book. It's a big piece of pop culture memorabilia. You guys are not going to want to miss this. Stay tuned to the end of the video. Before we do that, I want to thank the sponsor of this video. It's Cyberspace Comics. Cyberspace Comics is one of the top online comic book stores in the country, boasting over 100,000 unique issues. When you shop Cyberspace Comics, there are three things that you can count on. Quick turnaround time, safe packaging, and free shipping of your orders. And who doesn't love free shipping? They've got hundreds of slab books, thousands of hot key issues, and really anything else that you're looking for for your collection. Right now on their hip comic store, they're doing something they've never done before, offering 20% off of any order over $20. And that's any order, whether you buy one book, 10 book, or 100 books, as long as you spend over $20 or more. This is an extremely limited time offer. And you can only take advantage right now through the end of August. Remember, it's 20% off any order over $20 or more. And it's exclusively on their Hip Comic store. There's a link in the description below. Click that link and start shopping today. And thanks again, Cyberspace Comics, for sponsoring this video. Okay, I don't know what it is about finding a good deal in an antique mall where there's no negotiation and there's no back and forth and there's no offering more money or less money for any products that are priced in there from these professional dealers that own these booths. But it just arises so much controversy. There were several commenters that just did not like the fact that I found a good deal. But then there was a, a whole host more of people who were like, great job, I would have done the same thing. If you didn't buy it, someone else was gonna buy it. Anyways, regardless, I've got more. I went back and I, and I got more. I found more amazing books. I'm not gonna waste any time. The first one up, so comic books and pulps kind of went parallel in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. And this is a perfect example of, of a, a publishing company that had comic books and they had pulp magazines. And this is an amazing cover. This is Out of This World Adventures, Avon Publications. And just check this thing out. And it's from volume one, number two from 1950. And actually issue two, this issue goes a lot more for a lot more than issue number one. And I, I can show you why. So first of all, you've got the guy with the um, the dome over his head, the, you know, the sci-fi dome. And then you've got this lady here, uh, this good girl. But then you've got this lady laying on the ground with some sort of like arachnoid alien creature, but she's got a knife sticking out of her stomach, which is insane. Look how jacked up her hand is. Like she's writhing in pain or pff, who knows but this is amazing so this is from like i said december of 1950 it's from avon it's issue number two of volume one my comic shop has this listed for 120 dollars. they have another copy for 399 and then a, a third copy for 499 dollars. there is joe kubert and Gardner Fox contributions in this. So really great comic book writers or artists have contributed to this great pulp. This is fantastic. Got it for less than $20. Absolutely, I would buy this every single time for less than $20 for the cover art alone. This thing is so great. And remember, once again, stick to the end because there's a huge pop culture memorabilia piece that I wanna show you guys. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button, and hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos. So going along with the parallel of the comic book publisher and also the publisher of Pulp Magazines, this one is a Red Circle publication or more formally, Western Fiction Publication Company. And this is a Dynamic Science Story. So Timely Magazines, the creator of, you know, Human Torch, some of those amazing, amazing characters that we know today, such as Submariner, etc. cetera. Uh, Red Circle, you'll recognize that from the Timely comics. This is their pulp line. And we showed a lot of Marvel science stories last video. And so this is kind of a another title in that. This one is in really, really nice condition for a pulp magazine. Look at the spine on that. Just beautiful 15 cent novel right here. And so this is Dynamic Science Stories from February of 1939 
This once again predates Marvel Comics number one, and the cover is by Frank R. Paul, and they've got some listings on this one for $120, $200. Issue number two of this, so I, I picked it up because it's issue number one. I think that's really cool. They didn't have any other issues of this at that um, antique mall, but I picked this up because it's, it's a number one issue. It predates Marvel Comics number one, and this they've got listings of this one for, like I said, $120, $200. Issue number two is a Norman Saunders cover, and it goes for a lot more than issue number one here comes another number one issue this is captain zero volume one number one and this is from november of 1949 it's a popular publications magazine the cover is awesome on this one You've got the good girl lady in the red dress. You've got these two guys. I don't look like they're uh, good guys. They're, they've got that girl bound up, captured at a roulette table, as you can see there, roulette table. And they've got pistols shooting at somebody. And then uh, you've got the spirit over, over top of them. This hooded ghostly figure, fantastic, um, reaching for them ominously over them it's just really really cool captain zero the master of midnight wow such a great pulp magazine from 1949 there's a listing for about 119 dollars on this one once again didn't pay over 20 dollars for any of these things this is just so cool i just love these old pulps uh, the covers are outstanding and to find a number one issue is really really great master of midnight yeah here it is now this captain is a little bit more um, important it's a little bit more um, sought after and well-renowned. This is Captain Hazard. This is number one. This is an Ace Publications or Ace Magazines. And you'll recognize Ace from other magazines or publications. I've got some horror books over there in the office that are from Ace. This is from May of 1938. Oh my gosh, does Captain Hazard predate Superman from the summer of 1938? Captain Hazard might predate Superman. Really, really great cover. You've got this um, lizard man up here in the top wearing the lizard skin. You've got the good girl hanging on to this gargoyle or this um, lion head. They're escaping on these vines. He's got the pistol. It's just incredible. This is a Norman Saunders cover from 1938. Really, really great, great book. And I've seen listings of this go for several hundred dollars. This one is also in pretty nice condition. As you can see, the spine is pretty good. 10 center. So it's, it's pretty old, you guys. And this is really awesome. Love this. And it's, you know, the first appearance of Captain Hazard, I guess. So really, really great book. It's an action mystery story. All right, so on to the very last book. And this is the huge pop culture piece of memorabilia. I've wanted one of these for a long time. I found, about, found out about it a couple of years ago. I was like, wow, that would be really cool to find. On this second trip back, I found it and I recognized it. I, I must have passed it over on the first visit. I wasn't really looking for this. Second time when I had my mind open a little bit more. I wasn't looking for specific key issues. I found this great, great key issue, several hundred dollar piece of memorabilia. This is Fantastic Stories Magazine, volume seven, number three. Let's see if you guys can recognize it right off the bat. First of all, do, does anyone comment below if you recognize it just from the, the title, Fantastic Stories Magazine, volume seven, number three. Any guesses, put them in the comments below right now, but I'll show you the cover. And now let me know if you recognize this, this piece of pop culture memorabilia. This is in fact, one of the pieces that was used in Back to the Future, not this exact copy but this magazine was used in back to the future part one where marty mcfly is trying to convince his father the younger version of his father in 1955 to ask Lorraine out to the Enchantment Under the Sea dance. He couldn't get him to do it, you know, in person, face to face. So he had to go the sci-fi route. He dressed up in a hazmat suit and he called himself, guess below, what did he call himself? Put your comments down below. He called himself Darth Vader and he was from the planet Vulcan or something like that. And either way, this was on George McFly's nightstand, which probably gave Marty McFly the influence on how to dress, how to really get to George McFly, how to how to really get to his father back in the 50s was through sci-fi. That's what spoke to George McFly. And so if I've wanted these, they make reprints of these, but this is an actual original copy of Fantastic Stories magazine from 1954, which also makes a lot of sense because the movie was based in 1955. This would have come out months before then in 1954. So it makes sense. Now the guitar at the end of the movie was a Gibson 345 
but it was a later issue. They 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 didn't make those until like the 60s, I believe, the early 60s. And that may have been a 1964 Gibson ES345, I believe from my memory. I used to own 355, which is the step up from that, but that one, because Marty McFly played it, was the more famous of the two. So anyways, really, really happy to have this Fantastic Stories magazine with this amazing, iconic sci-fi image that you would have seen in Back to the Future Part 1 in the scene with Darth Vader crazy crossovers from all over the place that's it you guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for hitting that subscription button hitting that bell to be notified when there's future videos i've got another stack here of more amazing books that i got from that same antique mall what a controversy what a what a low life to find good deals anyways thank you guys once again hit that thumbs up comment down below what you thought of these books and once again thank you so much to cyberspace comics for sponsoring this video check out the link in the description below to hit up their hip comic website and you will be able to save 20 percent off of any order whether it's one book 10 books 100 books but you have got to spend over 20 dollars. hopefully you guys are doing well and i'll see you on the next one see you bye